Hi there, it's Anthony from Evolution Series. I'm back with a second volume of our Bowed Colors cello. In this volume, we are looking at more shorts and rhythmic techniques. Anything that just adds a bit of quirkiness or interest when it comes to movement. This actually, this library was created more specifically for a particular TV show we were working on. Unfortunately, I can't provide any details, but trust me, it was a it really helped us out <laughs> during that project. So let's just dive in and have a little listen. So we've got a good variety of shorts here. Um, we've, as you can see here, we have, uh, if we were to look at our menu, we've got some soft and loud spiccato that are dampened, and then we have ones that are longer, ones that ring out longer. We have pits, dampen and long and bartok, hammer on, taps and flams, and some dramatic shorts. And then we have some slides and other random things and body hits. And then we have these looped articulations, which I'll go in to a little bit later in this video. But the key here with the way this is all set up is it's using different concoctions of these shorts. So currently we've got the loud spick, damp and long. So when you play softly, it will play the, the dampened. And then when you play loudly, it will play the, the long version. And then when you look next, you've got like the soft, spick, dampen and long. And then you have the next one here, we've got a loud and a soft, dampened. So it's just very different combinations of techniques. So even though we're using some of these in previous ones, it's different combinations of them together, which makes it quite interesting. And then we have like soft and loud, longs, and then it just kind of changes like hammer on. So yeah, look, let's just play and see.
So as you can see, there's a great variety of different sorts of articulations there. Like other colors, we've also got some stereo versions of all of these. I really love hearing how they sound when they're a bit more kind of spread out. So that was the stereo version there. Now we'll have a look at the combinations. As you can hear, there's quite a lot of interesting subtle variations when you combine different types of shorts and in these case, or the end case there, there was uh, some sustain, different types of sustains blending together. You can get some lovely little variances. And the last little part of this instrument, which actually 
this was one of the key things we were focusing on with this one. The shorts I played you, um, even though they're really, really cool, that was kind of more like a, a bonus, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, the motions, this was something that we really wanted to capture, getting the musician to play some repeated rhythms, um, you know, that we could change to a different note if we wanted. Look, I think it's just easier to play. These are all tempo synced, so if you change your DAO BPM, then it will adapt to that. So as you can see, you can change the notes and it becomes quite easy to fit within context of your track. Like the one thing that we really, really wanted to do was do our best to always remain true to the root note. That way, if you're writing something, like you've got a D chord going on and you want to just have like some sort of rhythm where the cello just sticks to that D and doesn't get all too complicated, then this is really, really perfect for that. There's some pretty cool stuff there, for sure. So the fun thing about 
the colors engine is that you can have, like in this case, we've got loop 13 and loop 14. So if you press a bit louder, you jump to loop 14. But then if you play a bit softer, you're in loop 13. So if in your performance, you can kind of go from one to the next one and it just adds a bit of extra life there if you need to. And there we have it. We have a great choice there of rhythmic elements from one shot to loop based motions. Uh, it really, I think for me, when we worked on this TV show, I was always loving these uh, motion, rhythmic motions we captured. It was really handy. And then when you're needing kind of more singular shorts and you can jump and use the, uh, the more one shot short recordings that we captured. I think as a team of sounds, it works tremendously well. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>